Good morning. It is going to be a gorgeous day today. Right now, 36 degrees, going to get up towards the 60s. But tomorrow, we could be seeing some thunderstorms. So I am being joined by my friend Matt Friedline from National Weather Service. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Karen. All right. So we've got some storms coming to roll in tomorrow. What can people expect to happen? Yes, we're a reminder that we're heading into springtime here tomorrow, and we do expect some storms overnight tonight, and then a very mild day tomorrow. You mentioned uh, today, fairly nice, and then tomorrow in the upper 60s, may even hit 70 in some parts of the listening area. But with that warm weather comes a weather system, and the likelihood of some severe weather in the region in the afternoon and evening hours, uh, generally between 2 and 10 p.m. in that broad time frame there. We expect thunderstorms to develop in eastern Iowa toward the Mississippi River and then work their way eastward. There may be a couple of rounds of storms in that time, but being so mild and we'll also feel even somewhat humid tomorrow late in the day into the evening, that'll set the stage for potentially some strong thunderstorms with a damaging wind threat and even some threat of tornadoes, especially in eastern Iowa and northwest Illinois. Gotcha. So what are some things people can do right now to prepare for that for tomorrow? Yeah, that's that's a great question. On on the day before here, uh, it's it's that time period to just start thinking about uh, spring severe weather again and and what what you do. Um, for a lot of people, it, it just means thinking about your plans in the afternoon and evening. Doesn't mean necessarily canceling things, but just make sure you have a means to check in with the forecast. That's that's the main thing. The, the, the details will still have to be ironed out by us meteorologists here throughout today and into tomorrow. So uh, just continue to check in on the forecast. Have a means to hear if a watch is issued. Again, a watch as a reminder means the environment's favorable for severe weather. Usually comes out a few hours in advance, and then especially having a means to receive a warning uh, and, and acting on that and having multiple means, such as the radio, uh, television, your phone, uh, ways to receive a, a warning there. For today, really, decision makers are, are the ones that uh, may be thinking about it. Overseers, for instance, of outdoor events after school activities uh, would be an example of that. And just having that conversation already with other coaches, maybe letting parents know, hey, we're watching the weather closely, may have to postpone, may have to cancel tomorrow during the day. And that allows that not to be forced into having to make a decision as storms are bearing down on you, for instance. Uh, so those are, are really the uh, the thoughts for today as, as we head into potential severe weather tomorrow. Gotcha. And it's, it's kicking off spring. We're used to getting uh, severe weather throughout the area throughout spring. So it's not anything big that people wouldn't necessarily be prepared for but it's the first storm of the season and you like you mentioned there's uh possible tornadic activity that could happen so just being on your toes being ready for tomorrow's is basically what we need to do correct that's right and yeah the first of the the season in in this area can can sometimes catch people off guard uh it's been very active down in the uh southern United States, the, the Rolling Fork, Mississippi tornado of last Friday night is a reminder of that. And that active pattern is basically shifting north. The pattern hasn't changed uh, uh, in the past few weeks. It's now starting to shift north with springtime. So uh, tomorrow's severe weather event looks like it could span numerous states from as far south as Louisiana and Mississippi to as far north as Wisconsin and Iowa. So uh, it's, it's a reminder just to have a means to hear severe weather alerts and practice the plan and inform family and practice through what you do if there's severe weather at home, in the workplace, at school, et cetera. Right. And if you have kids, definitely practice. My kids are a little bit older now, but they still they'll be like, Mom, spring is coming. We should probably practice getting the dog down the stairs because our dog refuses to go into the basement on her own accord. (laughs) Oh, that, that's that's perfect to hear. And, and so many times we hear that children, because they, they learn in school and it's reinforced in school, mm-hmm. having to remind adults. And uh, then that's understandable. We as adults sometimes forget the basics there, and uh, yep. children are very good with that. 
Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. I'm sure that if weather is going to turn bad tomorrow, we're going to have plenty of alerts and things going on throughout your day on the radio. So keep it tuned right here on WGLC. Thanks so much, Matt. Yeah, thank you, Karen. All right. Right now, I've got some Garth Brooks for you. Papa loved mama. It's classic country. 100.1 WGLC. Good morning.